Hello friends, welcome to She Wolf Mom. I'm Erica. I'm finally tackling my extremely messy pantry in today's video. I have been putting this project off for months and months. We moved into this house eight months ago and since we were going back and forth between Arizona and this house for about a year, there was already stuff in the pantry and I kind of just stuffed things in there that we had been purchasing and using. Quite frankly, I haven't even unpacked my pantry boxes from Arizona. So I'm going to be um, decluttering and organizing this pantry but at the same time, I'm gearing up to unbox my pantry boxes that are in the garage, which I do have several. So you're going to see me in this pantry again in uh, a couple of videos from now. I haven't done that project just yet. But what I'm going to do is empty out this side of the pantry. I do have two pantries I guess you can say. This is the pantry that was original to this house and just built into the wall and where the wood cabinets are that was just an open space and it had like a metal rack there and my husband and I had these cabinets built uh, specifically for this space. So um, I'm going to switch all the food items over to the cabinet side of the pantry and then I'm going to use the closet for just storage. So that'll include any Ziploc bags that we have on hand. Um, I also made a space for our dog food because I've been moving that particular space around and so I assigned a shelf for the dogs and then there's a, a place for our spoons and forks, paper spoons and forks and then I did put a couple of Tupperware items in here just because I really don't find it easy to be bending into the bottom of my cabinets to reach for these particular items so I decided just to put them into the pantry and then of course oil. Um, I have a ton of oils that I'm going to put onto the ground um, just because I don't want that to be leaking onto my wood cabinets. So um, that's what I'm gonna use this side for. I had to take a moment and ground myself again because I was thinking, what did I get myself into? This is everything that I pulled out. There was a ton of stuff. And um, you'll be surprised, I was able to organize all of this into one shelf in the cabinet side of the pantry. And always remember, decluttering and organizing gets worse before it gets better. So let's keep on going. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. Mountain Laurel high fives for miles in spring. Rainbow trout. I've slowly been switching out all of the baskets and containers that I use to organize with. When I first started um, getting into organizing and decluttering, I really tried hard to do things budget friendly. I would purchase items at the dollar store and they are great. But as I've moved further along into organization, I've realized that I really want to put my money where it matters and that is into my organization items. I do still try to get the most for my money and I found that I can purchase really great organization items at Marshalls and this is where all of my clear bins and containers come from. I am a Marshalls junkie. Pretty much anything new that you find in my house comes from Marshalls. It's just really great quality items there and, and the pricing is really good as well. For this particular organization project, I did not buy anything new until I knew what it is I needed. So I also left a bunch of stuff out on top of my washer and dryer because I know that I have containers packed away and so I don't want to repurchase um, any containers if I don't have to. So at the end of the video you'll notice that there's still a ton of stuff out and um, I'm just going to be patient. I'm going to leave it there until I get to those containers that I have because the containers that I purchased in Arizona, they're containers that I know I like and love and I can just reuse them in this space. 
so there's still so much work to be done. Um, this is just uh, one piece of the puzzle to this pantry and then hopefully soon we can get it redone and made into a butler's pantry. I keep talking about that but I think this is the perfect space for a butler's pantry. Also you may notice that we removed the door and we actually love the space so much better without the door. The door was just getting in the way. Um, don't worry the molding is not going to stay brown. Everything's going to be painted white. We're just not there yet. We're just taking things slow and we are not there yet. All of the plates to the lights are going to be switched out to white ones. I know somebody mentioned to me that I can switch those out easily to make a big difference in the room. And to be quite honest with you, I painted, I spray painted one of the face plates white in the laundry room and I hated the way it looked. I did not like it. So, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I end up doing them white or black. I'm not sure, but I definitely did not like the look of the white one. I actually prefer the way it is now. Um, so there's just so much work to be done, but we are getting to it slowly. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed. By you So hold me tight Through the night mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The tile down below was disgustingly dirty and I'm going to be quite honest and that was left from the people that lived in my house, my renters, and I had never cleaned it. <laughs> so I'm getting to it now, I'm cleaning it, and uh, it's gonna be nice and clean as you can see, and I can comfortably put my stuff back down there. On this side of the pantry, I'm not going to be using any special organization items to get everything in order. I'm trying to use the height of the cabinet as much as I can and just stack cans as high as I can. My husband and I do plan on separating out these shelves and adding a couple of more layers to it. Uh, we're just not there yet. <laughs> so for now, I just made do uh, with what I had and just tried to organize everything as best as I could. To get organized, you also don't need to have special organization items, uh, fancy bins or can holders or anything like that. As long as you put them in an order that works for you, then that's all that matters. I was lost, I was lost without any direction Had a line so many times but I needed attention No matter what I say, no matter my regrets Things still been said and done mm -hmm. There's not a part of me that wants to say no I wanted to give you a quick update on my car accident incident. I actually went to the chiropractor this morning, the morning that I'm recording this voiceover, and the chiropractor uh, mentioned to me that I do have some soft tissue injuries in my back, and that is what is causing me to tire out so quickly when I'm working on projects like this. I mentioned in my last video that I uh, had gotten extremely tired. I was even feeling a little winded and that was not normal for me. I normally can work on these projects and keep my energy level up. And so I knew that 
that was different about me in the video where I mentioned the first time that we had had the accident. I mentioned that I felt tired at a certain part in my video and that is exactly why. I do have some injuries going on in my back and um, I guess he's going to draw out my plan for me. Um, I'm going to go in for some treatments and um, hopefully we can get this all better but that is exactly why I have been feeling so tired and I had no clue that that was related to that um so i'm so glad that i did go my husband talked me into going because i did not want to go i have this really huge fear of going to doctor's offices um it's it's actually a really really bad fear <laughs> it gives me a ton of anxiety but i'm really glad that i went and i know that there is definitely something going on and that's what is attributing to me getting just so tired um after i worked on this project i I'm actually still sore to this day. Four days have passed since I worked on this project and I am still completely sore and that is not normal for me. <laughs> so anyways, I just wanted to give you a little update on that. You'll also notice that the lighting in this video isn't very good. I wanted to keep the lighting natural and that is because I felt like if I had a lot of lighting, um, my ring light out, it was just going to make me feel a little more pressured to get this recorded because um, I don't have a lot of space and that would have just taken up so much space for me to be moving a ring light and a tripod and so I definitely just kept it extremely normal. This is a behind the scenes look of what is going on. There is stuff on the floor. That's the stuff that I need to put in new packaging. That's my trash can. This pile in the back is recycle. And then I'm gonna save that white bin in my garage. Um, I also wanted to show you that um, I do in fact recycle. So in just a little bit, I'm gonna show you my recycle pile. I have had so much recycle to throw out. Um, my husband has even been considered taking it to the dump himself personally just because there is just so much recycling going on around here and I just want to share that with you in case some of you think that I am just throwing this into the trash. everything that's left and with this I'm kind of gonna leave it in limbo just because I know that I have a lot of these packed away in my boxes that I need to unpack and I may be able to use or reuse some of these containers for all of my salad toppings these are my salad toppings I have almonds and then cranberry and pecans bacon crumbles more cranberries my husband loves cranberries then I have my croutons and uh, just different things. So I know that I have more of these that I can reuse for that type of stuff because I do want to get it out of the packaging. Um, extra sugar. I have sugar containers. So I'm going to go out and buy a couple of bins. But as far as this goes, it's going to be in limbo just for now until I can get into my boxes and start unpacking a lot of the pantry items that I brought back from Arizona. I still have a lot more organization to do, but this was definitely a good start. Thank you all for hanging out with me today. I really hope that you found some motivation in my disaster. <laughs> it looks so much better now, and I am absolutely thrilled with the results. I can't wait to get into my garage and unpack the rest of my pantry items. There's some foods in there that I really want to use, um, and I will be sharing all of that with you. So make sure you are subscribed. That way you know when I post my next video. Thank you all so much for your support. As always, I really appreciate you and I am sending you hugs. Have a safe weekend. Bye.